Oi, Monday pool day. So the first thing I did, I started real intense, try to go as intense as possible while still maintaining form. So I start out with um, tuck front lever pulls. Uh, if you can't do like a tuck front lever, just go lower all the way down to the ground and just um, put your, bring your knees to your chest and just pull yourself off the ground. Then I did archer pull-ups, not archer pull-ups, but typewriter pull-ups, excuse me. So I did typewriter pull-ups, typewriter pull-ups and the difference between archer and typewriter is with archer and typewriter or well, typewriter, you pull yourself up diagonally or to one arm versus to typewriter, you, you pull yourself up straight and then you go into one arm, then the other one. And so lastly, I finished it out with one arm body weight, body rolls. And so the first the first two uh, movements I did, I did only three sets of six to eight reps. This one, um, even though it's one arm, this is still a little bit light for me and because of the relation to my chest to the um, the ground and stuff like that. So the higher the chest is, the easier it is. So with that, I did 12 reps, three sets of 12 reps. And then I just went down on the last set and just did um, probably, I, th I think I did like eight or 12 reps. Yeah, I did eight or 12 reps. So the more horizontal your body is, the harder the um, this movement becomes. This is the one arm body row. And so you can add the opposite arm reaching out to the sky for more, like more rotation if you want to. And so for right here, starting with the low, lower body, I meant to um, uh, do the, um, the high bridges you're gonna see in a moment first, but you see here I'm doing Cossack squats. The difference between Cossack squats and Archer squats is again with uh, Cossack squats, I'm staying down, I'm moving side to side. I'm really using the, my groin uh, hamstring a little bit with Archer squats. With Archer squats, you come in, you're going down to one leg and you're coming back up standing and you squat down to the opposite leg. So that's the biggest difference between the Cossack and the Archer squat. And so from right here, I'm doing um, bridges on the high box right here. And the biggest thing that I've learned, like far as like uh, cues wise or like what to focus on, not to have like any knee pains or knee problems, is pressing my heel, trying to get to my glute, but then trying to get my knees to go out and posterior tilt my pelvis. And that would really help a lot. And I was really focused on it right here with the uh, wheel pose push ups. And you only have to do the wheel pose push ups, all like the other stuff alone by itself, like the stuff that I did earlier in the video is just fine as it is. And so I did the wheel pose push ups. I did one set with uh, both legs on the ground. And then I did the next two sets with one leg in the air. So I did like one set with the right leg and did the other set with the left leg. And my friend, she didn't record. The, uh, the set with my left leg in the air because she didn't know how to work my um, camera on my phone. Most people have iPhones. I have a, um, not most people, but some people have iPhones. Some people have uh, Galaxies or Androids. I got a Galaxy. And so she didn't know how to do it until I showed her afterwards. But yeah, so this is a full pool day.